Hello, my darlings! With this video, I am starting a series of tutorials on crepe paper flowers. This paper is simply amazing and can be found at your nearest arts and crafts store or ordered online. This is a beautiful textured kind of paper that can stretch, so it works great for making flower petals. I have discovered it just recently and I'm totally delighted. The first creation I have given a shot were tulips. Now let me show you how. Take a roll of crepe paper of your preferred color and cut out two stripes 3 cm wide. Then cut them into shorter pieces, 3 of 18 cm and 3 of 15. These will be the petals of our tulip. So, 6 in total. 3 bigger and 3 smaller ones. Let's start with the big ones. Take the 17 cm strip and fold it like this, overlapping a little bit. At this point, the petal should be about 8 cm long. Unfold one of the ends and make a little concertina along the bending line. Like this. And make half a turn. Like that. Now fold it back and straighten the edges. Then fix it with a drop of glue. Here's what you should get. And do the same on the other side. And we get a petal like this. For all the rest of the petals, just follow the same procedure. The 15 cm petal should be about 7 cm long once you fold it together. And the rest is just the same. My petals are ready. Now let's assemble the flower. For the stalk, I'll be using the florist wire. You can find it at the store next to the crepe paper. But any regular wire from an electric cable will also work fine, as long as it keeps the shape well. But if there is no other way, you can always use a wooden pick. Its only flaw is that it doesn't bend. For the flower center, I'm rolling a little ball of foil. Mark the point where the wire goes in, apply a bit of glue and attach it to the ball. Now let's arrange the petals around the center. We'll start with the smaller ones. First try it on. Then apply some glue on the petal and stick it to the center. Take the next petal, find a good position for this one, a bit overlapping the first, and stick it on too. Hold it together until the glue takes grip. And the same for the third petal. Looks really awesome. Mm. 
The petals are long and flexible. Let's fix them in place with a drop of glue. Now let's move on to the larger petals. The skim is the same. Find a good place for your petal and stick it on. And just like before, fix them in place with a drop of glue on the sides. And we get a sweet flower like that. Now we just need to roll some green paper around the stalks, add some leaves and the tulips are good to go. Take a strip of green crepe paper 18 by 3.5 cm. Fold it along in half and cut out a leaf like this. Stretch it out in all directions a little, just to make it look natural. And put it aside for a while. Now use a thin strip of the same green paper to roll around the stalk. Fix it with a drop of glue here and there. Once you're done, here comes the last stroke. Let's attach the leaf. Ta-da! Our tulip is ready. Totally easy, isn't it? I've made a few and gave this little bunch to my mom for the Women's Day. In the next videos, I'll show you how to use the same great paper to make roses and peonies. They're even more realistic and beautiful. You're gonna love it, I promise.